friends how are you all doing i hope you're all doing fine i am fine too i thank god welcome back to my channel if you are a returning subscriber thank you so much for returning back here thank you for your love thank you for your support i really appreciate much but if it is your first time here on my channel hello welcome to my channel please before you leave remember to subscribe and when you subscribe click on that notification bell you will find it down there so that you'll be the first one to be notified whenever i upload a new video and i promise you you always enjoy every content that i upload on this channel so dear friends in our today's video we are going to be having a continuation of josephine's love story a nigerian lady who decided to leave her country nigeria go to cape verde or relocate to cape verde in search for a white man if it is your first time here on my channel and you are hearing josephine's love story please go back watch her part one video yes of her love journey then come back here to watch part two so that you can understand better this love story so dear friends for those who watched part one josephine's love story we ended whereby she was at the border to enter cape verde or capo verde <laughs> like how she calls it so in today's video we are going to be finding out what happened after arriving in Cape Verde? How did she survive? How did she find a job? And really, the reason that took her there to find a white guy, did Josephine find that white guy? If yes, then we are going to be listening to that success love story. But if not, still, we are going to be hearing the story why not because the lady that she contacted before going to Cape Verde told her that in Cape Verde, there is lots, lots of white men. And if someone wants a white guy, for sure, will find a white guy if she goes to Cape Verde. So we are going to be hearing all of that. And it is going to answer lots of your questions that you heard after listening to her Patuhan love story because I also went through some comments and as you can see right now it's not that I'm all that active to respond to your comments but whenever I have time I sit down and respond so I take really long time before responding to your comments but I read each and every comment on this channel. So I saw your comments. Some of you started judging Josephine, you know, her decision to leave Nigeria to search for a white man. And you started, you know, like concluding maybe she's just looking for a white man just because of the color. So... <laughs> By watching part two, I know you guys are going to get a totally different picture of Josephine. You who judged her. There is a lot, guys. A lot of Afro cinemas. <laughs> lots of juicy, juicy stories <laughs> in this video. Yeah. But without forgetting, even if you are not searching for love on online dating apps, you're there, you know, looking for job opportunities, thinking, what can I do to better my life? <laughs> so by watching this video, it is going to really give you an encouragement. It is going to inspire you very, very much because I've been using my time here on youtube to tell you my journey where i came from even at the time i lost my job what i did so i am glad that josephine in this video apart from talking of love she also talked about finding a job yes working all her struggles to better her life which will teach you a lot, a lot. You who is watching this video and those who want to relocate in Cape Verde, I know some of you have contacted her already. Then you get to know the reality, you know, of how things are going to be. Because nothing is impossible under the sun. And like I said last time, that nothing is easy. Yes, even staying like this without not doing anything, 
<laughs> it's not easy. <laughs> you start getting bored. You go into a depression because you're not doing anything. <laughs> so nothing is easy. And without wasting much of your time, I'm going to welcome Josephine to continue with this love story. Welcome, dear Josephine. Me arriving in Cabo Verde is by God's grace because I didn't enter this country with BTA money. Cabo Verde people don't joke with BTA money at all. Most of my fellow Nigerians could ask me, how did you do it? Did you use voodoo or there? Because they already knew the system. All what I could mortar to myself on the flight was, oh, the ghost of our land goes with me. Hey, these people, if they want to deport me, God, change their mind. Just let your grace speak for me. I was the first person they attended to. They attended to me so fast and I got into Cabo Verde. Now, when I entered Cabo Verde, the first place I arrived was the country's capital. The country's capital is Praia, which is Santiago, 10 island lakes of Cabo Verde. If you are not having much money, if you cannot book flight direct to Sa, which is the island I'm staying currently, you can board a ship to the island you are going. So when I arrived at Sa Island, I lived with a fellow Nigeria. I stayed like two to three days. I told the person I want to work. I have a skill. I want to start any morning. And he said, okay, there are many shops I can take you to. That was how this fellow Nigeria took me to this lady's shop. This lady is a stylist. She owns a big shop. She interviewed me. I have to practicalize the skill for her to see and she was okay with what I did. She concluded in paying me 15,000 escudos. In Cabo Verde, they use Aero and Escudos. Escudos is very high compared to my country's currency, which is Naira. The 15,000 Escudos is equivalent to 150,000 Naira. A thought came into my mind on the cost of working with her. I have to ask questions. The cost of rent, and they told me the cost of rent in Cabo Verde here is 18,000 Escudos. Depends on the kind of house you want to rent. If it's a studio apartment, one bedroom flat, two bedroom flat, it all depends. So I have to ask myself that, had it been I wasn't staying with a Nigeria, how will these 15,000 escudos be enough to pay my bills? This money is not just enough. I started working with her, but something happened. On the cost of working with her, the day she was supposed to pay me, which is the second month, she deducted money from the salary. I asked myself, why will this lady do such a thing? That was when I understand that if you travel to another man's country, the biggest mistake you can make is working with your fellow country people. If you come to this country, if you have a skill, any handwork, you can make the money without you working for anyone. After asking questions on this particular day, I said to myself, I don't want to work for her again. Let me work for myself. I'm a stylist. I make hair. I do pedicure. Now, when you are in Cabo Verde, you can go to the beaches to look for clients. When the white visit the island, there's lots of things they want to do. They want to braid their hair, their children's hair, you know, massage, lots and lots. So, if you come to Cabo Verde, you have skill, you are not going to be hungry. You have lots of money to take care of yourself and even send to your family back home. That was how I bought some equipment, which I know will help me in whatever I want to do. There is a part I want to add. When they took me to this lady's shop, that is this stylist lady, there was a question she asked me. She said, as you are working with me, will you be going out to Urso? Because I'm a novice, I'm a JJC, I don't know what it is to go out and also, I asked her, what did you mean by that? She said, ah, don't you want to also? I just answered her and said, no, no, my own is just to walk close for the day and go to my house. 
I never knew what she meant was me going out to meet people. As you are watching me, you already understood what I'm trying to say. Yeah. Most of the ladies here, that is what they do. They do, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I don't want to say it. I'm not here to judge anybody, everyone with how they want to live their life. I told her that is not the reason why I am here. My secret of coming to this place is inside my mind. I didn't pour it out to anyone, but I just want to live my life, do what is positive for myself. So, after buying the equipment I needed to, you know, which I will be using to make hair for people, anyone that wants to braid hair, I carried my bag on this particular day that I'm going out to look for clients. I was walking at the side of the beach. I saw these two couples. These two couples said they want to massage. When they said they want to massage, and I'm not doing massage work, I said, ah, I have to think. I don't want to lose these people. Took them to a fellow Nigerian. I asked this Nigeria that these two people, they want to massage. Even before I took them to this Nigeria, I invited them to where I stay, if I can do it with a fellow friend. They find it uncomfortable because the house is where, you know, husband and wife and children live in the house. So they said they want a more conducive environment. So when I took them to meet this Nigeria lady, this Nigeria lady refers me to a Sierra Leone lady. She said the Sierra Leone lady is the person that can do this work perfectly well for them. For you to see how God works, the place I was directed to, I missed the track. So I took this couple to a Cabo Verdean. The said woman they directed me to, her shop is a story beauty. When you bring clients for them after the massage, they will give you a commission. After working with this lady, this lady asked me, are you doing this before in Nigeria? I answer her yes because I once work in a spa as and as an African lady, you know, our parents could massage us sometimes. So those skill, the way they normally do it is what I'm already used to. And the couples I massage love my work. That was how this Cabo Verde requests me to work with her. And we concluded in her paying me by commission. That is when you see a client after the massage, they will give you 500 escudos, which is a KN school. After talking with her, I went back to my house and the following day, I resume work with her. I'm still working with this lady. So I had to take a pause and add something here. <laughs> Guys, this lady is a very hardworking woman. Yes, I left Nigeria to keep ready to search for a white man for marriage. But after arriving in Cape Verde, did not sit down and start thinking of the easiest ways <laughs> to earn money which will make her lose her dignity. No, she did not do that. She had to think, what skills do I have and how can I use my skills to earn some money so that my life can keep on going as I search for that white man. And I told you guys, you were interested in a white guy. One of the things that can push a white man to marry a black woman is if that woman is responsible. Yeah. So Josephine looking for a job, looking for something to do. Of course, coming across a white man, if that white man is serious, will know that Josephine is a responsible woman. So that's like a plus for her to find the right man. Without forgetting, she is a very intelligent lady. As you keep on listening this story till the end, you are going to agree with me. <laughs> yeah, so let's continue. The other man I came across is almost my age. This man is in his early 30s, he's a Gemma guy. For this white man I'm talking about, we met in the place I work. This island is a place where you normally come across white men. So seeing white guys is not challenging, but that white guy that really wants you, 
that want a wife is what you will look at for. Whenever they visit the island, they normally rent an apartment or sometimes hotel. So he invited me to his hotel apartment that he wants a massage. Day after the massage, he was like, oh, you are different. But on the course of talking with him, he said he likes me. And this guy is kind of cute, young, you know, every lady will like, ah, this guy is young. This is what I really want. Even as you want this younger guy you need to ask yourself that is this guy ready most of the younger guys too are not ready they will tell you they want to fulfill their ambitions relationship is not in their list but they will want to be with you make you happy have fun with you tour the island with you but anything serious relationship will not come out of it on the course of being with this guy this guy is so nice just like the italian man but I got to reason that he is not ready. If you are a lady that is ready, that wants a serious kind of relationship, there is no need for you to be with a partner that is not ready. You can ask yourself that this man you are moving with, he is not ready. The way you think is not what he thinks. So instead of you being in that relationship that you know that nothing is coming out of it, why don't you just quit? Because at the end of the day, you will get hurt. And because you don't want to get hurt, you need to quit. That was how I quit from this guy because every time he would say, I want to go to this country, I want to go to that country. He is this kind of person that have lots of form, that have dreams. This new relationship is not even in his agenda. So I just have to tell myself, mm -mm -mm, let me move from this man. I'm this kind of person. If something is not working, I don't like forcing myself over what is not working. And so that was how I quit. After quitting from that guy, I met a Norwegian man who is in his 50s. All these men I always come across are so very nice. When he visited this island, he could come to my massage place. Though this man didn't massage, but... So guys, about the Norwegian guy, Josephine forgot to mention this and sent me a voice note was like, Bella, you can add this, you can talk about it so that people get to understand those who will watch the video. So with the Norwegian guy, Josephine tells us they met in Cape Verde. And after meeting in Cape Verde, this guy was in his 50s. He seemed to be a good guy and everything was moving on very smoothly. To an extent, Josephine was like, wow, I have found the one. So after his vacation ending, he had to return to Norway. But after arriving in Norway, the communication started decreasing. And whenever Josephine could ask, why is that their communication is shaking? <laughs> he could come up with lots of excuses. It could be like, oh, you know, the other day I was with my friends. Then the other weekend I went to see my parents. Excuses, excuses, excuses. But not only that, because as they kept on communicating, Josephine had to ask him about, you know, inviting her to Norway to see his life. The guy was like, fine, no problem. But when that time approached to start the paperwork for this guy to put in money so that she can go to Norway, you can't believe it. This Norwegian guy disappeared. And if you have been watching my videos here on YouTube, I have said this. You can be chatting with a guy online, all is good. And when you talk of meeting, he will be like, yes, my love, I'm going to invite you. You're going to come here. I would like, you know, you to be close to me so I can hug you. We can sleep together, you know, cuddling. <laughs> but when the time comes for the paperwork, for him to put in actions, for him to put in some money, he starts changing. He starts bringing excuses. Others will ghost you. And that's when you get to know if that guy was serious or he was just, you know, playing games. So we have a vivid example of what I have been telling you guys. <laughs> also, Josephine adds that 
Before that Norwegian guy, there was an Italian guy. That was the first white guy for Josephine to meet in Cape Verde. Yeah, the guy was good. He seemed really serious and he was serious. Only that the guy was in his 50s but never wanted to have more kids. And Josephine, you know, looked at herself, what she wants was like, I'm still young, I want to have kids in the future. So if this Italian guy is telling me we can't have kids, it is simply we are not a match. And tells us had to end the relationship with that Italian guy. They remained friends till now. So yes, Josephine's life continued. She kept on working and tells us one good day, she was at the place where they search for clients so that they can do massage on them. So as she was there, you know, in search of a client, came this British guy. Talked to her, was so nice to her, and even took pictures with her. <laughs> then after that, took that British guy to her workplace to do a massage on him. So she did a massage on him and after Josephine finished doing the massage on him, of course he had to pay. And when he finished paying, he asked for Josephine's phone number. <laughs> and because Josephine was single and searching, why not? <laughs> she has to use the chance. So exchanged WhatsApp numbers with that British guy. But mind you, that British guy was leaving the next day. So there was no time even of, you know, let's meet and get to talk, nothing. But he promised to communicate with Josephine. So yes, after he left her workplace, when he arrived at his hotel, he wrote to Josephine and they exchanged some few messages. Then the next day, when he was at the airport, wrote another message to Josephine that I am now boarding to London. And after arriving in London, still wrote to Josephine, was like, I have arrived in London. So from there, they started communicating and that's when Josephine had to ask him, you know, his status, <laughs> relationship status. Then he told Josephine, I don't have a wife and I am a single parent. So that's when the British guy had to ask Josephine to be his girlfriend. And because he was single, he didn't have a wife. Josephine was like, yes, <laughs> I can be your girlfriend. And that's when the relationship started. They reached an extent. This British guy introduced Josephine to his son. Yeah, it was really, really serious. And this guy really loved Josephine. So I want Josephine to keep on telling this story and then I'll come back to talk about this British guy because we have got something to learn from it. Visa for me, he wants me to come to England. He even asked me that if I want him to come to Cabo Verde to stay, to live, he can come and live here in Cabo Verde. That was how he calls her his intentions towards me, that he likes me, he loves me, he wants to marry me. And I was like, ah, I really see the perfect man for me. Ah, I like this man. I love this man. This is what I'm looking for of the truth, my people. I really love this man. I like this man. He is the ideal man for me. Before he said it wasn't even up to a month, this man said, as you know, processing visa is not easy. It can be very stressful. Some of the requirements they will want from you can be very difficult to get. And you know, processing visa is what I haven't done before. This man has to travel back to to meet me here so he tells me what and what to submit when he came he really vibed me I vibed him and he was even younger he was even looking younger but something happened on the course of chatting with him when I asked him of his age he told me he's 58 then from the 58 he said he's in his early 60s 
when he came so when he said he was in his early 60s i said okay no problem i'm still watching couples seeing people and i'm this type that i'm from a polygamous home my late father was 30 years older than my mom so the age difference wasn't a challenge to me so when he came we are doing everything to we did everything together work together put food together this man is just he could do everything for me so guys i'm back like i promised to talk about the british guy but before i talk about the british guy <laughs> i would like to tell you how i came to know josephine i remember writing to me sometimes back on instagram asking for some advice and then i told her about the fee was like how much it is i told her she said no problem bella i am going to come back i said cool no problem and whenever i could post any story on instagram yeah josephine could react to it and she kept on telling me bella i enjoy your videos they're so good i am really learning a lot from those videos which i appreciated and i still appreciate thank you girl <laughs> yeah so time passed and then one day josephine writes to me she's like bella i have found b1 yes this guy is from the uk oh my god talked of good good things about him and i was like soon he's going to be arriving in cape verde if you follow me on instagram you can remember very very well i screenshotted her message of her being excited that they met in cape verde and he is coming for her after one month of meeting so i was really excited for her and i told her when he arrives please send me the photos congratulations girl you know how i cheer you up guys <laughs> yeah because i love you that's the truth so yes time went and yes josephine wrote to me was like bella he has arrived he's so good he treats me good oh my god i'm being spoiled <laughs> we were all happy and this lady is very very generous you can't believe it <laughs> i think after three days this boyfriend arriving in cape verde she spoiled me too because the guy was spoiling her so decided to spoil me which i really appreciated very very much i did not expect it at all at all <laughs> i had wanted to post on instagram but again i was like nah let it be but when i share her love story yes <laughs> i am going to share it with you because you know i share with you everything that happens yeah so she spoke to me josephine i said thank you and i'm here to say thank you again so yes guys everything kept on going really really good to an extent i told josephine you can share your love story yes you did not meet this guy on online dating sites or apps but people will have something to learn from your love story because she has shown her determination the determination that i wish for every woman that comes across my channel to have yeah so that's why i requested for her success love story so this is what happens behind the scene and yes guys josephine recorded a video on how they met how she met that british guy and even sent me some clip of them together you know so i was happy and i even promised you on instagram to share her love story so wait for our from cinema <laughs> One day we were taking a walk, I asked him, which year were you giving birth? But what is your birth year? He now told me that he was giving birth on this particular day and this particular year. That was when I now calculated that ah, this man is not in his early 60s. This man is in his late 60s. In, when it gets to October 17, this man will be 70 years 70 years that was when i now said ah, 70 years and when he's 70 years the age differences will be too much 40 years difference no 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 that was how my mind changed my mind this switch of mind just came into me that no 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 
the age gap is too much. The age gap is too much. I was even thinking maybe 24, 25, or even 30. But this one is 40. No, 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 no. I don't want to force myself into what I am not ready for. And I don't want to marry somebody out of pity. Neither did I want anyone to marry me out of pity. When he just called the yes for me, the love and the like I have for him just wiped out. And that was it. Now, because this person is still with me, he hasn't go back to his country. I don't want him to have a clue, to have this feeling that this lady is not into me. I have to treat him special so he feels happy before he goes back to his country. And even when he gets back to his country, I don't want to open up to him that I'm not interested because I don't want him to go depressed and feel sick because he's quite older. I will just use a method. If he sees that I'm slow in communication with him, he will know that this lady is not into him. That is just it. So this man left for his country, he could still tell me he loves me, he likes me, he wants to be with me, just you know, this sweet life, good life, and to top it up, this man has money, this man has money, like, when you want, if you are this lady that wants to live your dream life for this man, this man has money, but I just, I hate to use people. Because I don't want people to use me. I hate to use people. Some ladies would like be with him, pretend, act up, and when you get to his country, you leave and you look for another man. No, I don't want to hurt people's feelings. I just want to live my life. See that man that I want, this man of my dream. Some will say, hey, what you really want is not what God wants for you. Yes, I understood that fact, but I don't want to hurt people's feelings, and I'm not desperate. I just came to this place five months, six months, I met this man. So I still have the assurance that God will bless me with the man of my heart's desire. That is it. So and yes, guys, five days after she shared that story, you know, I still had lots of stories to share with you. So I was like, I will keep it. And when I finish with the stories I have, I will bring her story. So after five days, <laughs> Josephine writes to me and tells me, Bella, I have discovered this guy lied to me. I was like, lied to you? How? He lied about his age. Because at first when Josephine came and told me about the guy's age, she told me the guy was 60. Yes, still they had a very huge age gap, but told me, Bella, you know what? My mom married my dad when my dad was 70 so age is not an issue to me so i'm okay with his age you know him being 60. so when she came back to tell me that the guy lied about his age that's when i was like so how old is he she was like this guy is going to be turning 70 october this year and when we calculated the age gap it was 45 years plus age gap oh my goodness josephine was like bella i don't know what to do really can you please advise me on this but what i did is to ask her these questions how do you feel you know how do you feel after all this and are you really physically attracted to this guy do you love this guy those are very very important questions okay so even you who is watching this video if you're dating a guy he is older than you we take an example your name is anita so ask yourself anita how do i feel dating a guy who is older than me am i in love with him am i physically attracted to him and another thing that i told you when i talked about the age gap is if you plan to have kids in the future so you think of all this and then decide so we talked and really josephine cause was really in love with the guy she told me yes bella i am in love with him he's so caring he's so loving he has got everything i ever wanted in a man he has money too but the problem is the age the problem is the age you know the age that he has i doubt that in the future it might weigh me i don't want to do something 
that I will later regret or start being unhappy. That is something I don't want to do. And yes, I had asked her, do you think this will weigh you in the future? That's when she said, yes, Bella, I doubt that having this huge age gap might weigh me in the future if I get married to him. So yes, guys, Josephine gave herself time to think very well of this age thing <laughs> the only thing i did is to guide her like you know someone trying to open your eyes for example that thing of having kids <laughs> or the question of will it weigh you <laughs> yeah all these questions helped her to make the right decision because in such kind of a situation i can't just tell you know a lady leave that guy <laughs> I don't know how she feels inside. I don't know if she's in love. I don't know if she's physically attracted to him. I don't know if she's ready to sacrifice not having kids. I don't know. So I cannot decide for her, but guide her to make the right decision. So yes, guys, that is how it went. So now I am coming to you. You who wrote a comment <laughs> judging Josephine, like why did she leave Nigeria, go to Cape Verde to search for a white man? Like you guys, praise the Lord, white guys. Stop this thing of color. <laughs> You can see who is Josephine. Josephine, yes, went to Cape Verde to search for a white guy, but not just a white guy, a quality white guy. And you know, Josephine is my baby, has been here watching my videos, so there is no way my baby can date a white guy just because he's white no way <laughs> and she is not desperate wants a white guy for marriage to settle down but not in a desperate way and i think you who is watching this video you can learn from her because it was going to be very easy for a lady who wants maybe an easy life exist ladies who uses white guys go to europe america australia but i told you guys if you take a risk and do that just know that you are signing up for misery trust me we saw judith's story how it turned out this lady wanted to leave her country and not only judith guys exist other ladies that i have not even brought their love stories here who left their countries come to Europe thinking that when I reach there, you know, even if this guy is old, <laughs> I'm going to go to the market. And when I go to the market alone, you know, I'll find another white guy and then I'll get married. I will leave that white guy. It's not easy like the way you think. And if you do that, you might end up being deported or you might even lose your life. Who knows how that guy that brought you to the country will react plus who will take you after knowing that a guy brought you into the country and then you are betraying him by looking for other men? I think you can see <laughs> how complicated it is. But let's talk of morals too. Josephine is the lady that was really raised up very, very well. <laughs> Never wanted to use that British guy because of money cause it was easy to lie to him. Yes, I'm in love with you and keep on taking his money but i was like no the right thing to do is to end this because i don't see the future with him i just see being unhappy if i get married to him later not now <laughs> for her she was thinking beyond her nose <laughs> which is good which is something i have been telling you in my videos so yes guys that is how josephine's success love story <laughs> we thought it was a success story ended up not coming here on my channel but after all that i was like we still have a lot to learn from your story so we are going to bring the story still and that's why i am here now <laughs> Telling you her love journey, her love story. So guys, I'm C Session. Will I give up? No. Am I back to online dating site? Yes. Am I still hoping for that right woman here in Cabo Verde? Yes. Which age preference do you want? I want somebody that is 35, 45, 
55, even 60, I will accept that age. But 65 up, I won't accept that. That's online dating site that you are. Don't give up. Still be there. One day you have a story to tell. If you want to make the move, make the move. Because traveling to African countries where white people normally visit on vacation gives you 80 to 90% chance of you seeing the white men. On this island, black ladies play with white men. They use them to play ball. Sometimes I could ask myself that these white men that these black ladies are playing with here yeah, are men that people are searching for. But most of them are using them to play because they don't even want to marry them. But most of these white men want to marry them. But these ladies don't even want. So if you come to Cabo Verde as a lady, I am not telling you that it's a must you must come. If you want to come, it should be a choice. But I am telling you that if you travel to Cabo Verde, if you relocate to Cabo Verde, you have 80 to 95% chance of you meeting that your potential partner. To all the single ladies this session, we are in this together. One day, we'll have a story to tell. Life is all about determination. When you are determined, you will have your own story to tell. I want to use this medium to appreciate African Bella for giving me this opportunity to express myself here on this her channel. I'm so grateful to you, Africa Bella. May God prolong your age here on earth because you are doing a lot to single lay the session for that rightful white partner and as a lady whenever you watch african bella's video try and watch to the end so yes guys like josephine said is still searching and she has joined my membership so she is my baby i am guiding her <laughs> In her search, she is still searching offline in Cape Verde and at the same time searching on online dating apps because whether you want it or not, on online dating apps, sites, there is enough potential to find the right white guy that you are searching for so girl i am here for you whenever you need me you know where to find me so we are together in this and i believe in god that i will come back here to tell josephine's success love story eventually yes so thank you so so much for sharing your story i know it wasn't easy because you're also very very busy but you took your time you know to do this video be blessed i wish you all the best guys let us wish josephine all the best in her search for that right white man and before i end this video guys remember Josephine is a content creator. I remember sharing this even in part one of her love story. So thanks to those who went and subscribed to her channel. But if it is your first time, you know, to get to know that Josephine is a content creator. Yes, she has a YouTube channel which goes by the name of Josephine Vibes. If you are interested to know about, you know, Cape Verde, maybe how to relocate, how to find a job in Cape Verde, you know, how to settle down in Cape Verde, Josephine Vibes channel is the right place to be so let me hope you guys will support our girl and thank you for supporting her so we have reached to an end of our today's video thank you so much for watching this video till now i really appreciate you much may god bless you if you have liked this video give it a thumbs up share it with your friends family everyone that you think will enjoy this video and learn something don't forget to comment below what you think about this video watch my other videos too they are super super good you're going to learn a lot if you haven't subscribed can i ask you a question what are you still waiting for <laughs> join the family and thank you for subscribing until next time guys i love you so much you're always here in my heart ciao ciao